Hi everyone, my name is Matt Cana. I'm a professional baseball player with the Texas Rangers. James and Greg had asked me to talk a little bit about the difficulties of hitting a curveball. Curveballs are, are going to have all types of, of different spins on it. So like a Captain Hook curveball, for instance, you know, hook real sharp. So that, that, that curveball is going to be real tight spin, uh, late breaking. Uh, so as a hitter, you're going to think it's a fastball and, and it's going to be late and nasty and you know, more than likely you're going to swing through it, um, where a, a rainbow type curveball is, is probably a more a, a slower curveball with a big loop. And, and so, you know, if you're timing, if you're just going to be way out front and, and spin yourself into the ground, and, and everyone loves those, those stretches, uh, you know, they call being in the zone or when you're just on fire and, and the ball looks... Uh, you know, the ball looks like a, like a beach ball, and, and you're just hitting balls all over the field. But, I mean, even in those stretches, you're, uh, you're probably hitting 400. Uh, so you're still getting out six, six out of ten times. Um, and most of the time, you're getting out on, uh, you know, on, on a ball that's, that has a little movement, that has a curve on a captain hook, on an on a Uncle Charlie. Um, because it's one of those pitches that, I mean, it just messes with your timing. You, some, some of them you can't see. You think it's a fastball, and all of a sudden you swing, and it's up, it ends up in the dirt. Even when you're, you're feeling good and you're feeling great, I think it's really, you know, if you look at the stretches, uh, I know in my career that, that you were on fire and you are in that zone, it, you know, more than likely it was, it was a, a, a curveball uh, that, that got you out even when you, you're feeling good. You know, I got a, I got a funny story uh, about a curveball, and I, I know Greg is a, is, a, is a diehard Cubs fan, so I'm sure he'll enjoy this one. We were in Wrigley Field. I was with the Diamondbacks, and I had just come off uh, the game before or the game before that, uh, three for four. I was a home run away from, uh, from the cycle. Uh, so I, I was feeling pretty good. It was a day game. At Wrigley and uh, and Kerry Wood w was on the mound and and he uh, he had it going on. Um, you know, day games at Wrigley, it's bright. Uh, you know, you can't see the ball that well. Uh, the wind's blowing. Obviously, I'm I'm setting up the elements um, as uh, as it kind of the elements slash excuses. But uh, you know, I remember the inning. It was it was it was a two two count. Uh, run around first base, and uh, like I said before, I was feeling pretty good at the plate. Um, I had just fouled off two two fastballs up in the zone that man I, I had just missed. So goes into a stretch, uh, throws, and and I remember that feeling of it, it, the ball was coming in just like those two previous high fastballs that I fouled off, and, and man I was so sure that. It was going to be that fastball, and I wasn't going to miss it. And, and sure enough, I went to go swing, and uh, it was such a weird at bat because there, there are those those moments when you're hitting where you are so sure that you are going to hit the ball, and this was one of them. And, and when I didn't, there was that first, you know, I swung and I missed, or I just don't feel uh, the bat hit the ball, and uh, so like it, it kind of like just took me for a second, and then. I realized, I looked back, and, and I realized that the ball went to the, to the backstop. So and the funny part about the story is, I forget who asked me, but they kind of had a look on their face like, hey, did you, uh, did you follow that ball off, or did you tip it? Because obviously they were kind of, they kind of wondered why the, the ball went to the backstop. And uh, so my answer was, uh, obviously, no, it didn't, uh, didn't hit my bat. Uh, that ball hit my back foot. So... Uh, yeah, definitely the nastiest curveball uh, I've seen in my playing career. One that I thought was going to be a, a belt-high high fastball and ended up obviously missing my bat and, and hitting my back foot uh, and going to the backstop. So, Greg, I hope you enjoy that story. And, and everyone, I hope you enjoy the series. Um, James has been a good friend of mine. Um, we, we've chatted life and, and baseball uh, for really... I guess since uh, 2000, 2003, and, and they've been big uh, fans of mine. So 
Um, I really hope you guys uh, get a lot out of uh, get out a lot out of the series and um, uh, you know have a good time.